Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about different properties of the parabolas if the center of our parabola is not at the origin. So before we start sol solving, let's get acquainted from how our equation will look like if our parabolas either opens upward, downward, to the right, or to the left. So, if our parabola opens upward, our equation should look like this one. The quantity of x minus h squared is equal to 4c times the quantity of y minus, square, y minus k. And if our parabola opens downward, uh, still they look the same, however... We already have our negative sign of here, that is negative 4c. Okay, and if our parabola opens to the right, our equation will look like this. The quantity of y minus k squared is equal to 4c times the quantity of x minus h. And same with our parabola that opens to the left. However, the only difference is the negative sign near our 4C. Okay. X positive, that means upward. X negative, downward. Y positive to the right. And Y negative to the left. Okay. So, I hope you take notes the important details. Let's start solving. We have here our equation y squared minus 5x plus 12y is equal to negative 16. Our goal here is to transform this equation into its standard form of equation of the parabola. And also, we need to try to find our vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry. Okay, we already discussed about this, so let's start about, uh, let's start solving. So, how do we transform this one into the standard for equation of the parabola? I have here two steps in transforming. We have here, first step is you perform completing the square at the left hand side. And second is simply simplify the equation. Now, before we can perform perform our completing the square at the left hand side we must transfer our minus 5x or negative 5x to the right hand side so that um, the variables that will remain at the left hand side will only be 1 squared plus 12y so that we can perform our um, completing the square so we have your y squared ang may iwan na lang ay si 12y equals to negative 16 negative 5x when transferred to the right side it will become positive so plus 5x okay after that as you can see at the left hand side we can now perform completing the square so we have y squared plus 12y okay again 12 divided by 2, that is 6. 6 squared, that is 36. So, we are going to add 36 here. And again, the law in completing the square, whatever you added on the left-hand side should also be added at the right-hand side. So, we have negative 16 plus 5x plus 36 okay. after that we have so many variables therefore it is a must that we simplify our equation uh, let's factor our left hand side we have your y plus 6 squared is equal to 5x plus negative 16 plus 36 that is 20 okay so we are now closer to be the standardized form of the parabola however our variable x here still has its coefficient number 5 
So we must separate the number 5 and x here. And to do this, we just simply factor the whole equation. Okay, just copy our left hand side. We have y plus 6 squared is equal to factor 5x plus 20. Ilalabas natin si 5. 5x divided by 5, that is just simply x. 20 divided by 5, that is 4. And here we go. We have here our standard form of the parabola. Okay. Later on, we are going to um, determine uh, where does this parabola opens, what is its vertex, focus, directrix, and its axis of symmetry. Just by simply looking at our equation, we have y positive. Therefore, we can already determine that our parabola opens, opens where? Opens to the right. Okay, if you forgot, you can just simply recall our video. Okay, next, determine our vertex. Okay, our vertex in this equation we have here. Okay, for our k, take note this is so our x coordinate should be negative 4 and our y coordinate is negative 6 so that is our vertex next okay determine our focus and directrix so before we determine our focus and directrix we should be able to know the distance from our vertex to the two of them. From vertex to the focus or vertex to the directrix. As we all know, um, focus and directrix has the same distance to the vertex. So how are we going to solve this one? Okay, We have here 4C okay. is equal to our um, value for our 4c in this equation that is 5 so to find the value of c we just simply divide it by 4 cancel cancel we will have here c is equal to 5 over 4 that is equivalent to 1.25 so, the distance from vertex to focus is 1.25. The same with the vertex to our directrix, it also has a distance of 1.25. However, we are just simply done with its distance. We don't know yet our focus and directrix. So, how are we going to determine it? Let's try to graph our equation. We have successfully determined the vertex of our parabola in our equation. And that is um, vertex with coordinates negative 4 and negative 6. Now what we are going to do here is to determine our focus and our directrix. We have successfully determined our distance from our vertex to our focus and vertex to directrix and that is equivalent to 1.25 now since our parabola opens to the right we can now determine that our focus um that our focus is located at the right side of our vertex again focus uh is inside our parabola okay since our distance from vertex to focus is 1.25 and our, hmm, our vertex here with x coordinates negative 4, we just simply add 1.25. So, negative 4 plus 1.25, we will have here negative 2.75. So, our x coordinate is, let's add another tab. 
our x coordinate is negative 2.75 okay since our y coordinate still in the same um in the same uh, line that is negative 6 okay so this is now let's label it our focus of the parabola okay, put it a check okay we have now our focus okay our focus is located over here the distance between our vertex and our focus that is equivalent to 1.25 okay so we have successfully determined our focus now for our directrix again they still have the same distance and our directrix lies at the left side of our vertex so um we have your negative four just simply subtract 1.25 negative 4 minus 1.25 we will have here negative 5.25 okay so it means that our directrix also uh, again our directrix is a line okay not a point so that is x is equal to negative 5.25 okay that is now our directrix okay so we have here in our graph the vertex our focus and our directrix which is a line they still have the same measurement that is equal to 1.25 25 okay so since we have here the three important parts of the parabola let's draw our parabola in my case i'm just simply going to type our standardized form of the parabola okay we have um, y plus six squared is equal to 5 times the quantity of now we have your x plus 4 okay and here is what our parabola will look like okay as you can see the center of our parabola is our vertex and our so that is how your parabola will look like when you graph it. Of course, uh, let's determine our axis of symmetry. That is a line that divides the parabola into its mirror-like images. So our vertex that is at negative 4 and negative 6 therefore our axis of symmetry that will divide our parabola is at uh, negative 6 that is y is equal to negative 6 okay can you see the line over there let's change the color oh i can't change the color okay you see that black line that is our axis of symmetry okay let's summarize our problem okay quick summary we have here our equation the quantity of y plus 6 squared is equal to 5 times the quantity of x plus 4 our vertex that is um, with coordinates negative 4 and negative 6 our focus uh, with coordinates negative 2.75 and negative 6 our directrix with line x is equal to negative 5.25 and our axis of symmetry with y is equal to negative 6. Okay. Do you have more questions? Let's solve more problems.